All right, we've already done basic bunker play. Let's get into advanced bunker play. What do I mean by that? Well, there's different distance shots. You know, do I hit it far? Do I hit it short? You know, all series we've talked about letting the club do the work for you, right? What does that mean? Less loft makes the ball go further. More loft makes the ball go higher. Think of it, it's, it's easy. So if I have loft on the golf club, loft pitches the ball up. A lot of loft makes the ball go up. Less loft makes the ball go out. All right, so use your golf clubs to help you. That way you don't always have to gauge your swing, try to swing harder, easier. The more you can make the same swing, the better. So what I'm gonna do, if I've got a short bunker shot here, I'm taking my L wedge, again, open, grip it, stand to the handle, wider stance, because I'm the sand's not stable, so I like a wider stance, so I dig in a little bit. Like that left knee a little bit forward. Don't get crazy over here, just left knee a little bit forward, keep it there. You're gonna stay plantered. We talk about, in any bunker shot, making sure you stay centered. You never wanna shift off the ball or off the shot. So I get centered, I swing it up with my arms, I swing it down. I turn through, ball comes out nice, has some spin on it, that's a good shot. Now, how do I make it advanced? Advanced is, if I'm gonna to go to a further shot, that blue pin, I'm gonna to go to more club. It's a pretty long way away. I'm gonna to go to my gap wedge. So I'm putting my L wedge away, grab my gap wedge, it has about 50 degrees of loft on it, bring the ball over here and play, do the same thing, it's very simple. Open the club, stand to the handle, put your weight on that left knee, I'll make almost the exact same swing, maybe I'll let the club go a little bit further, a little bit higher for a little more speed, but I don't have to make a big adjustment and hit a nice shot without really making a big effort. So remember, keep it simple. Let me summarize. If you've got a short shot, use your lofted golf club. Use L wedge or sand wedge. If you've got a longer shot, get, grab your gap wedge, maybe even a pitching wedge. Always open the club. My point, let the club do the work for you. That way you don't have to do so much work and have so much practice. It'll be much simpler. You'll get up and down or out of the bunker without those bad shots more often. We're all about consistency at the scoring zone.